your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your words and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, shall we clap for Jesus. We may be seated. Wow. He has done it once again. Tell your neighbor that he has done it. Say it again. Say he has done it. I am in the presence of God. Yes. Let me bring this message that I introduced on Wednesday. That there is no competition in destiny. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor. There is no competition in destiny. You are what you are. Because this is the way God created you. I can't hear you. This is the way God created you. Say it louder. Say you are what you are. That is the way God created you. There is no competition in destiny. Yes, that is our simple title. Whether you like it or not, there is no competition. If you are destined to be a lawyer, a teacher, a president, no matter what you go through in this life, everyone is bound to make a mistake. It doesn't mean that your destiny and your weakness is the same thing. There's a difference. A mistake and your destiny is not the same. Let me take you to the book of Genesis. Genesis 17. But before we go there, for you to get the point, we start with 25 verse 23. This is the message I quoted on Wednesday. I'll just read 23 in 25. Genesis 25 verse 23. The Lord said to her, two nations are in your womb. Two people from within you will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other. And the other will save the younger. That was the, the, the scripture I started with on Wednesday. Two nations are in your home. Two people are within you. If you look at the life of Esau and Jacob, you discover that Jacob was the senior, I mean, the young brother to Esau. Esau was the senior brother to Jacob. Ishkushakale, the Sarion se Alepa la va festiboni. The Salepa la banani va festiboni. But in the case of, you know, Esau and Jacob, the story changed. This is history. Now I'm talking about your destiny and my destiny now. Because this one is history. This is what God said about Jacob and Esau. She was, he was talking to the mother that two nations are in your home. The older shall save the younger. God declared this word in the life of these two brothers. Jacob and Esau did not know what God said about their life because they were just infants. What does it mean? Simply means God knows you even before you come to this life. Before our mothers conceived us, he knows your destiny. He knows who you, who you are, what you become in this life. <clears throat> Make no mistake. He knows everything from the one up to today. And there's nothing that you can hide on unto your life. What God declared upon your life before you came to this life is what you become. Are you there? I say what God declared 
upon your life before you became anything is what you become even the situation that you are facing doesn't mean that that situation will bring you down no that situation is to push you closer to your destiny because the driver of your destiny is god almighty your weakness or your mistake are not the same you can make a mistake it doesn't mean that your weakness will overtake your destiny no your destiny is already enshrined in the constitution of heaven are you there there are constitution here on earth we have our own constitution in heaven where everything about you is enshrined and no one can enter heaven and change your destiny tell your neighbor say no one can enter heaven and change my destiny i am what i am this is the way god created me he created me as a great person and i will be a great person in jesus name let, 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 let me take you now to 17. let's go to the same book genesis 17 verse 5. No longer will I call, I called you Abraham. Your name will be called Abraham. For I have made you a father of many nations. Take note of that word. And this is the man who was barren. But in the constitution of heaven, Abraham was enshrined to be the father of what? All nations. Come on. Physically, people know Abraham as a barren man. But in heaven they know him as a father of so many nations. What are you talking about in your life? Anything God has said about your life shall come to pass. Whether they like it or not, you become whom God wants you to become. People of God, if you follow the life of Habra and Selah, it was full of pain, shame, but this is the man known in heaven as the father of what? So many nations. They know you as a failure. In heaven, they know you as a rich person. Yes. There is a constitution there. Why are you panicking? What is your problem? The problem is that you want to drive your destiny using your own strength and your own you know effort it doesn't work like that abram was pushed by the wife to say sleep with our maid so that at least there will be a child inside the house and yet in heaven they know him as a father what so many nations they know you as a barren woman in heaven you are a mother of miracles in heaven and very soon very soon I say very soon. I say very soon. I say very soon. You discover that you are not a failure. Come on, children of God. God declared His word that you are no longer, I will no longer call you Abraham. You shall be called Abraham because I have made you to be a father of so many words nations and yet physically the man is barren come on people of god how do you understand this you are barren in heaven they are declared you as a father ah if care is not taken you respond to what to say god why are you mocking me they don't know who you are your destiny cannot be changed because of your situation your destiny cannot be changed because of your mistake. Your destiny cannot be changed because of whatever you are doing. You are what you are in the eyes of God. All those things that you are facing is just a matter of time. Very soon, you are going to shine like a morning star. I say you are going to shine like a morning star. Look, if you look around, you see problems you see failure you have been in that situation for quite some time 
is it enshrined in the constitution of heaven that this is your life? I have never come across of any scripture which says he was created them with problems. Maybe you have seen that scripture. You let me know. I stand to be collected. Have you ever seen that scripture? That he was created them with problems, with sickness, with disease. No, the Bible says that he was created them in his image. We were created in the image of God according to his what? Likeness. And he said, be blessed. Come on. Be blessed and subdue what? The earth. All these problems that you see we are facing is because someone is trying to disfocus you. Trying to use the situation. Trying to use one or two things to say, look, you say you are a child of God. Have you seen this? No. Let me bring this to your attention. Look at Joseph. Joseph was, you know, a small boy, second from the last in the family. Rejected by his own brother. They were mistreating him. Not knowing that this is the savior of the family. To the extent whereby they even showed him now to the Egyptians. To them, they said, we have done with this dreamer. Not knowing that, they have sent him in advance. Because the famine is coming to destroy the city. So that that man will go there and prepare something for his family. This is why you see a lot of people are complaining, no, no one loves me, everyone is rejecting me, everyone is saying this and that. You don't know that in heaven, you are calling something. And anytime soon, people will start seeing the signs that, ah, ah, what is this? Is it not the man that we know? Is it not the same woman that we know? Ah, she's now pregnant. Situation is not your master. Situation is not your destiny. Stagnation is not your destiny. There is no competition in what? You can, you know, give birth to ten children. Let me remain with my, a mother of miracles. The time that you are going to give birth, even Satan will be shaking in his kingdom to say something has come to this life. Because in heaven they know you as a mother of what? Miracles. What is coming out of your life is uncommon. I hope I'm talking to your destiny. Are you there? Are you there? Yes. Those who are rejecting you today because of your weakness, they are going to regret. They don't know who you are in the eyes of God. They don't know that you are a lawyer, you are a minister, you are a doctor. They don't know that you are a rich person. They don't know. Abraham was old. Let me call you. Where are we? Verse 6. I will make you very fruitful. I will make nations of you and kings who come from you. Hmm. Let me pause there. Think about this declaration. Whatever they have declared upon your life with, I don't know who is against you, whether a witch or maybe anyone who is against you. Those declarations are meaningless and nothing. Those who are telling you that Abanomba those declarations are meaningless and useless what God has declared upon your life is what you become whether they like it or not you are going to shine again I say you are going to shine again you are going to shine again in Jesus name Yes, anything from God is beyond your enemy. Ngabadi michita kapcha, badi mivika somewhere. The time to be released is now here. Ichiri chonse chowa chita kapcha. Your death must be now recaptured. You need to recover your destiny. Remember, we declare this is the year of what. 
I can't hear you. Come on, say it again. Everything in your life will be restored. Yes. Everything in your life will be restored. The will of God over your life shall prevail. God Almighty is all. Are you there? I, I, I feel like uh, I am the only one who is receiving these blessings. Uh, I don't know if you, you are feeling the way I'm feeling. Are you receiving your home? Are you receiving your own? Are you receiving your own? Thank you, thank you. If you are receiving, thank you. I will establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me and you and your descendants. Who is there to say you will not make it in life? Who is there who can oppose the declaration of your creator? Whatever they have tempered in your mind, it doesn't mean that that is your destiny. No, they are just trying to disfocus you. They are just trying to frustrate you. They know you are a threat. They know that you become something in the near future. They know that their children are great children. That's why they are frustrating you. He has declared kings and queens. Ha. Kings and what? But you know Mamri wife. By no Mamri Mwe. By no Mamri Mwe. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let me take you to Loman so that you get the point, the nature of God. Are you there? Romans 4, chapter 4. I'm lashing because of uh, time. Romans chapter 4, verse 17. As it is written, I have made you a father of many nations. He is our father in the sight of God, in whom he believed that the God who takes note of, who gives life to what? Even if they have killed you physically, spiritually, your destiny is still there. The giver of life will bring you back until you fulfill the purpose of your creation here on earth. There is no way you can leave this world because of your enemy. Not until you fulfill the promise of God in your life. He created you for a purpose. There is a purpose. For you to be a man, for you to be a woman, there is a purpose in your life. And that purpose must be fulfilled before you leave this world. In Jesus' name. Abram understand that this is the God who can give life even to the dead. Each of us can say that life is a life. Na muchungulo le salapala. Come on, I say, na muchungro le salaitashani. He's going to shake your enemy. Your enemy shall be shocked with the blessing in your life. In Jesus' name. Yes. God is reliable. God is what? God is reliable and dependable. I want you to know these people of God. Take it serious and take it as personal. Anything God has said about your life cannot be stopped by anyone. Not even a witch or Satan himself. No. Because the power of God is in your destiny. The power of God is the driver of your destiny. Can Satan stop the power of God? Can a witch stop the power of God? Can your enemy stop the power of God? If the answer is no, the purpose of your creation as a human being has to be what? Come to pass or fulfilled in your life before you leave this world. There is no way you can leave the world because of your enemy. No, you need to fulfill his purpose. You need to fulfill the purpose of God. president. It doesn't matter whether my father was a security guard or a shoemaker or a fisherman. 
God has already said in heaven that Mulenga, you are a president. You see a shoemaker give birth to what? A president. Forget about where you are coming from. You need to know that God has declared something in your life before you come to this life. If you have your mule pitamo, tafkwe tenchito. Takwa bo muntu shirufianya. Destiny ya muntu ta irufianya, relo muntu ala kisashani. Come on, come on. Destiny ya muntu ta kisashani. Relo muntu ala kisashani. Once you come back to your destiny, you are going to shine like never before. Destiny ya muntu ta kisashani. Umuntu ala kisashani. Those who are calling you names, they will be shocked. I said they will be shocked. They will be shocked. In Jesus' name. Yes. Umuntu ala rufiani. Destiny ya muntu ayikisashani. No, no. Umuntu kuti ala rufiani, but your destiny is very rich. This is why your enemy is on your neck. They are fighting you maybe through your children or maybe through your husband or your wife or your family members because they know who you are in the spiritual realm. That's why they are following you. We are going to recover everything. In Jesus' name. Take your time and trust Jesus. The giver of life. The destiny changer. Echo ba mu itila nani? Lesa. Echo abela nani? Ngai mapachi fupuna. Ayambo kwenda. Nish destiny yenu yambo kwenda. When Jehovah Shema is working in your life, your destiny is working. What you cannot do now, you start doing it tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Hmm. I don't know if you are the way I'm receiving. Mm. I don't know if you are receiving the way I'm receiving. When God said, you are a doctor, persecution will be all over your life. Because yours is not like those they are getting from whatever. You got it from your father in heaven. Going to school is just a confirmation that you are a doctor. That thing is within you. At the end of the day, you are not going to end your career as a doctor. You end your career with him. Are you there? The moment I doctor, sanka a politician, our MP, our minister, we should parliament tomorrow. We must have to go and That is their destiny. That is their destiny. It's not something you can say is by chance. No, in destiny there's nothing by chance. God is a designer of our destiny. He has designed you the way you are. Those who are against you, they are just wasting their time. They have their own destiny. Let them follow their destiny. Follow your own. Those who are talking about, let them continue talking. Keep on pushing your destiny. 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 That is your life. That is your life. Whenever they see problem in your family, they will start talking about you. You become the topic. Here. They are forgotten that they are for their own destiny. They are talking about your affliction. Not knowing that that affliction, they are just pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. Until you become who God said you become. So don't mind them. Let them continue talking. Those who are doubting you, they don't know you. They will come to know you in the near future. I said they will come to know you in the near future. In Jesus' name. In heaven, you are not a failure. Why must they call you a failure here on earth? No, that is not your name. In heaven, you are not a failure. I'm talking about the heavenly constitution where Abraham was declared the father of what? 
This is a prophetic message, I'm, I'm telling you. Anything dead in your life must come to life. Mm. Must come to what? Yes. In heaven, you are not a sick person. They have declared sickness. What and what? In heaven, you are health. You are health. I say you are health. You are health. I say you are health. Yes. Read the Bible. That is our guidelines. That is our guidance. That is our roadmap. In heaven, you are not a failure. You are not a sick person. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. You are not a barren human. If you have no child and people are calling you, Ngai mwamu kakwata Luis, Ngai mwamu kakwata Luis, Ngai mwamu kakwata Luis, yours are on the way now. The heaven reconstruction is releasing your own. That you are not a barren in heaven. In Jesus' name. We need to end this, you know, things that has been there in our family for years and years. Mm -hmm. You may be seated. Are you there? Look at this statement here. The God who gives life to the dead and who calls into the the, the, the being things that were not there. I don't know if you, you, are, you, you get the point out of this you know, statement. The God who gives life to the dead and who calls into being things that are, were not there. The decalation of human beings is not your destiny. Your destiny is in the hands of God Almighty. This year, you see the light at the end of the tunnel. I say you see the light at the end of the tunnel. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. You are not a failure anymore. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Man can fail you. Your brother can fail you. No Jesus. That's why we sing he can never, never fail. He can never, never fail. Jesus is the same for God never.